Time for your first alert forecast. Rain in the forecast. What a shock. <laughs> right. Yeah, a couple of days with some rain. We had some rain today. I think it's going to get heavier to get into the nighttime hours. Tomorrow, I want you to have an umbrella, and then I think you're good. I think you're off to the races for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Currently outside, eh, kind of a gray picture, and I've been showing you a gray picture now for a couple of days. And same sort of thing, but we have some rain that's in the area. For New York City, it's just a light rain in and around the city right now, but I just looked outside of the CBS2 studios and we don't have any raindrops on the ground, but there are some, okay, it throughout the five boroughs. The big picture shows you got some big rain up around Poughkeepsie, but let's move forward and talk about what the high temperature was because interesting to note, 52 degrees was the high today. You should be 54, so a little bit cooler than average by two degrees. The idea of having the warmest March ever, I think, is off the table because I think the progression of temperatures as you look ahead is going to be to keep them below average, maybe at or below average. So I don't think we're going to have one of the warmest Marches ever. Right now we're in the fifth spot. We'll probably maybe even drop down a little bit. But the idea of the wettest March, so warmest March, not on the table. The wettest March, is it a possibility? Currently we are in the sixth position, 8.24 inches of rain. Well, if you pick up an inch of rain for the rest of this night and then for your day tomorrow, you would move into the fourth spot, eclipsing eight. Oh, let me use the word eclipse. Uh, 1876. I think that's a possibility. Will we get up to, you know, maybe two and a half inches to take the number one spot? That's going to be a stretch. But I do think we break into the top four. All right, how much rain do we see? Well, the graph is suggesting 1.3 in the city, widespread inch to two inches throughout the area. This is showing a 0.5 for Monticello. All the models are kind of in the same ballpark. 1.3 according to the high-res model, uh, anywhere from an inch in that same area to two inches as well. Two inches for Brentwood, a 0.3 in Monticello. The European, similar setup. They've got 0.9 in the city with the bigger numbers being like uh, 1.3 out around Long Island and the Jersey Shore, smaller numbers again off to the west. So I would say for New York City itself, you're talking about an inch. The bigger numbers, the one to two inch range a little bit more to the east. So here's how the rain works out. Put it into motion. If you're heading out tonight, whether you're taking a dinner, maybe catching a show, is there rain out there? Yeah, there is. It's more widespread by 9 p.m. Little flashes of yellow shows you where you have some moderately heavy rain out there. So it's coming down at a better clip at 9 o'clock tonight. Now, you get to tomorrow morning's commute. This is 7 a.m. Well, you see the, the bigger rain is now falling mostly east of New York City, anywhere from, say, Fairfield County down into Monmouth and Ocean County. This was, as I told you earlier, the same picture we saw yesterday, but now it's spreading out as you go through your day on Thursday. This is 1 o'clock. This was supposed to be 1 o'clock Thursday. 1.10 was going to be the first pitch at Shea Stadium. Well, this is the picture. It's wet tomorrow, and maybe some of these bands of heavier rain could move right over the stadium as well as the game progresses. So we've canceled that. We've delayed it to Friday. By Friday, it's going to be a better looking picture. Here we are, midnight. The rain has cleared New York City. There's the cloud line, so clear skies are on the way, and it eventually clears the east end around 4 o'clock in the morning on Friday. Everybody gets a good look in Friday. But what will those winds be like? During the ball game, we've got a good sky, but you've got some winds gusting from the northwest, and there are about 25 to 30 mile per hour gusts in the city, so that can affect the ball game. Let's get right to the extended forecast and show you. Yeah, what we're dealing with now and the good news that lies ahead. So 52 degrees for your day on Thursday. There will be bouts of rain out there, heavier east of New York City. 55 Friday, sun and cloud mix. 58 Saturday, the same deal. Sunday is Easter. It's 60 degrees with a nice sky. Monday looks good. And then Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, the rain chance comes back to the area. So a seven-day forecast you're looking at, and three of the days have mm -hmm. rain. But four of the days don't. And Easter is really hanging in there. That orb has been there all week. I've been watching. Now, and I do think that orb, he's referring to the sun, I think there will be a couple of clouds out there for Easter as well, but I think it's a nice forecast. Very good. That's something to be thankful for. Thank you, Lonnie. You betcha, Kate. Right, thanks, Lonnie.